Hey everyone, it's Jenny T with SimpleSewingProjects.com and it is Tuesday, so it is Q&A, ask Jenny T, me, any type of sewing question that you have. So, um, if you have a question related to anything sewing or DIY, just send me a quick email to JennyTSews at gmail.com, that's J-E-N-N-Y-T, S-E-W-S at gmail.com. Ask for your question and I will answer it either in a video or straight to you via email or even on the blog. So today's question, let me pull it up. Let's see, where is it? There it is. Okay. Hi, Jenny. I have four clear glass doors on my master bedroom that lead to the interior hallway. Nice. I have been scheming on what type of window dressing to use on them. While I love hobbled Roman shades, I don't want the cording to be visible through the hall side of the glass, so I've been thinking that roll-up shades might be the best for the cleanest look. Whatever I decide on will be in the up or open position most of the time. I love being able to see through the glass as it makes the bedroom seem larger. The shades would mostly likely, most likely be used on rare occasions when we have guests. I haven't done any research on it yet, but about 40 years ago, I recall seeing a DIY roll-up shade. It seems like it was an iron-on sort of thing. Do you know anything about them, or have you ever used them? I think the hardest part would be attaching the fabric to the roller so that they operate properly and roll up evenly. Okay, so yes, I do have actually quite a bit of experience uh, with the roll-up shades. Uh, I Simple Sewing Projects actually used to be much bigger a few years ago. In fact, I used to have a website called RomanShadeSupplies.com where I actually sold the roller shade hardware uh, and, and made some videos on how to make them. So here's the thing with this, okay? So I'm going to try to address both questions here. You have one question which is asking what you should do, and the second is what about these roll-up shades? So as far as something that you know, doesn't have any strings or or fussiness showing through and can basically be neatly tucked up when not in use. A roller shade is a really nice idea. Um, it can be very, very pretty. Here's the thing with the roller shades, and so I need to prepare you. So first of all, finding a kit, a roller shade kit, um, isn't the easy thing, easiest thing. I will leave a link below this video to a site that I know sells kits, but they are, are fixed with, okay? I think that they have instructions as well that are pretty good, um, so that would, be a, that would be an option. So here's, here's what it's made of. You have this aluminum roller, okay, and, it's not, and, it's, and, and you attach it to your uh, wall or door, Okay, with some brackets, kind of like a, um, I was going to say like a blind, but like not, not really. <laughs> it's a roller. It fits into these brackets. They're actually very easy to install. And then the, the roller itself has a spring mechanism. So, well, that's not true. Gosh, there's a couple things. So one of them is that I know of is actually a bead chain mechanism. So you, you, you make your roller shade on this material where you actually use adhesive and very carefully... I, you know, roll on your fabric onto the roller shade. This is the hardest part because the bubbles that can form when doing this, okay? Um, and the roller shade stuff is not necessarily inexpensive, so you gotta be really, really careful and practice a little bit. Uh, As so the bigger the bigger the piece of material, the more room for error. Once you get that set up, you need to make sure it's very square on the roller and then you need to attach it to the roller and you actually attach it with like duct tape. It's nothing, nothing advanced to be honest. And then this mechanism that I've used before is actually a B chain mechanism and you just basically pull the B chain and it rolls up. And it's really quite nice. The real pain in the neck is is that if you don't have anything level or it's not perfect, what I've discovered and I've made a few for, for videos and stuff, is that even though I've made it very square, the fabric's very square, the, it's on the roller and at 90 degrees, and everything looks great, even I still roll it up and it will still be off. And that drove me crazy. Uh, for the rare occasion that you might use it, maybe it's the option that you want. I honestly would recommend to do something a little bit different and less, less expensive and time consuming if, that, if you are thinking of a roller shade. What I would do is I would go ahead and just order 
roller shades. Just simple, white or off-white, whatever makes sense for your decor, uh, roller shades, okay? And you, you might have to have them custom ordered if they have to be a certain width, I don't know, but they won't be that expensive. And install those directly above your glass on your doors and keep them obviously up most of the time. Then what I would do, since that's not going to be very attractive, is to then take a board, a one by two board, and install that like a shelf directly above the shade, okay? So it's like basically now you have a shelf, and then you have your roller below it, and you'll take some fabric that that you can um, hem and just staple it along the board and make a very simple, clean fabric valance. I know it's nothing too fancy, but it'll actually look really nice. It'll hide the roller, which won't be very effective or very attractive. And then when you're ready, you can pull down the roller shade for privacy for when you have guests. And that will probably be your best option. The other option is to do a faux, if you like Roman shades, but you don't want to have those strings, you can do a faux Roman shade as a valance to cover up the roller shade. And so when you're on the inside of your bedroom, you see a nice pretty valance above your glass and with your glass open and when you have guests for those rare times you can just pull the roller shade down and have some privacy so I hope that helps I still will leave a link to the site that I am aware of that sells the roller shade kits and supplies if you still want to go ahead and do that by all means go for it and I hope this helps I'm Jenny T from simplesewingprojects.com see you guys in another video take care